Hello guys, and here I am, a living illustration of how dynamic everything when you live in times of war. And this week has demonstrated how some very tragic events can later be changed with extremely important news which guarantee our future victory. Russia was on fire this week and all because of Ukrainian drones and modified missiles that destroyed their aviation plants, oil refineries, radars and even strategic supersonic bombers. Let me remind you all of these important events and of course thank you once again for the aid from the United States and all the beautiful people in different corners of the world. My name is Anna and I vlog daily from Ukraine since the start of the brutal Russian invasion. So if you're new to the channel, you support Ukraine, please subscribe and help us fight against Russian propaganda and fake news. And my longtime friends, check your subscription status and hit notification button. This week was emotionally difficult, just as all the other weeks since the start of full-scale invasion and honestly since the very start of this war back in 2014. When I say these words, I'm terrified that I live for 10 years in a country that suffers from Russia. And it's actually this like golden era of a person's life that is always interrupted with bad news, missile explosions, air raid alerts and inability to plan anything. But at the same time, we feel great support inside the country from each other and also from our friends in different parts of this planet. And somehow it seems to me that more and more people feel we have to defeat Russia and the sooner the better. That is a very important conclusion. And uh, when we've learned about another brutal attack on the center of Chernihiv, which is a regional center in Ukraine, killing lots of Ukrainian civilians, I honestly felt devastated and almost had no motivation to do anything. But I've received lots of words of your support and I also am always inspired by the work of Ukrainian armed forces, SBU, intelligence services, that despite lack of support, limited resources, losses and daily tragedies that they also witness on a daily basis in Ukraine are capable of developing really cool operations. And because of them, we may say that many regions inside Russian Federation were on fire, of course, we target only legitimate military objects and why not start, for example, with a plant factory that is used for the construction and repairs of Russian bombers. Uh, we reached this plant deep inside Tatarstan, which is one of national republics that I hope one day will, uh, will proclaim independence from Russian Federation, but until now it is used as one of the military producers with lots of military facilities there. At the beginning of April we've uh, targeted the Shahed drone in Tatarstan, uh, Shahed drone factory, I'm sorry, in Tatarstan, and um, during this week there were loud explosions on the factory that produces tools. Tools are evil and I think the way we stopped one directly while still on a mission in the air in the skies of Russian Federation was very beautiful. And personally for me, perhaps it is the greatest achievement of Ukrainian armed forces this week. By the way, let me know in the comments below which is your favorite Ukrainian victory this week. But uh, modifying old uh, air defense system S-200, Ukrainian intelligence service has managed to plan a special military operation waiting for this two strategic supersonic long-range bomber reach really close to the area where we can reach it with this missile and it was like close to 300 kilometers still away from the border with Ukraine and we destroyed it. We destroyed it loud, there are lots of videos that are viral in Russian internet and I think they remind the population beautifully, you can never win a free and independent country. And if you're new to the channel, many people watch the videos uh, without subscription, please do. This helps promote more information about Ukraine and we need that to win and to win faster. So do subscribe, share, like to demonstrate your solidarity with Ukraine. And uh, to demonstrate your solidarity with Ukraine, you can also celebrate 
the destruction of a number of radar systems uh, that Russia used uh, not only to protect their object but also to target Ukrainian and uh, Nebo U was destroyed uh, in Bryansk and another one that we are targeting and partially destroyed is located in Mordovia, another national republic that can claim independence from Russian Federation sometime in future. And that radar is huge because it can scan up to 3000 kilometers uh, around it. And by destroying it, we will lead to the collapse of Russian air defense. But literally, you can already see this collapse of Russian air defense systems with a number of S-400 and S-300 systems destroyed by Ukrainian drones this week. And also there were loud explosions in the airfield, military airfield in Jankoy. Jankoy is a beautiful city in Ukrainian Crimea, temporarily occupied by invaders, but I'm sure very, very temporarily. Because you see, even without uh, the support that we needed, we were capable of developing this operation, targeting um, air plane bomber uh, plant inside Russian rear, destroying their radar systems, shooting down the uh, supersonic bomber. And uh, also yesterday, for example, in just one night, there were explosions in eight Russian regions on oil refineries, oil depots, and also um, electric system elements that feed and supply their military industry objects. And this is very beautiful. This is how Ukrainian drones work. But now, with the aid from the United States, and once again, I want to express my gratitude to the people of the United States who persuaded um, our decision makers to listen to this sane advice that we have to stop Russia until it destroyed the whole world. And my special greetings to all of you, because I feel this strength this understanding, this support in our community. And I know that many of you made it possible. It was your work, it was your telephone calls, it was your emails, it was your uh, participation in various rallies and events so that people do not forget about Ukraine. And it happens in Denmark, it happens in the Netherlands, it happens in Canada, in Australia, in the United Kingdom, in France, in Germany, and even in Hungary, despite Orban, who is so much afraid that soon uh, European countries will send their troops to Ukraine. Orban, maybe we will win over Russia really quickly and then many European countries will send their troops to Ukraine to train and exchange experience. I think this will be a good start for our uh, NATO uh, membership and anyway, this new system of defense and security that must be built in the world because we pretty well see that many international organizations that were supposed to protect us uh, did not manage to achieve this uh, mission and we can only hear how concerned uh, United Nations, for example, are. And I have come across this uh, Russian narrative, Russian propaganda narrative, that Ukraine has these problems because it's not the member of UN. Guys, if you've heard such a message, remember, Ukraine is one of the founding members of the United Nations. But unfortunately, at the moment, United Nations do not perform the tasks we expect them to do. But Ukrainian Armed Forces, Intelligence Services and uh, US Congress are able to perform uh, the tasks that we people want to see and hear from them. Yesterday, when I was searching the net, reading for this update, I was really glad to see uh, this hysteria in Russia. Uh, well, of course, perhaps they felt it coming. I also felt it coming on the channel with lots of troll comments appearing who tried to demotivate, who especially targeted our successful NAFO campaign. And I'm sure sometime soon I will be able to share with you more and the video uh, of uh, the NAFO truck that we will deliver and uh, a swarm or a flock of drones that you have adopted. And I'm very grateful that your support is 
so multidimensional. So despite this demotivational comments, despite these uh, articles that they financed in global media and other stuff, um, history is on our side and I hope we will be able to uh, use this support to protect the world from Russian and other evil, because unfortunately these authoritarian regimes, they inspire each other, they learn from each other, and they only understand powerful messages and powerful answers, like those, you know, shooting down of their bombers or destruction of their Shahed drone factories or bomber plants. And I promise we are ready to continue sending these messages and I hope we will learn more of Russian geography based on the destructions of military objects in their cities and uh, other locations. But honestly, I would love just one geography lesson when we discover the location of Putin's bunker and then someone will smoke nearby. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you so much for all your kind messages, for all the support, but most importantly for all the work that you da do daily in your countries, in your parts of the world, helping Ukraine to win this war and stop this evil. You are fantastic people, you're my friends, you're family, and believe me, millions of Ukrainians who don't have YouTube channels pray and express much gratitude to you. You may not hear it, but you will definitely feel it in your lives, in your thoughts, and in good events coming to you in future. United We Stand, remember to join me on Instagram. I'm quite active there. Also, I'm on threads and Twitter, typically to quarrel and express my Ukrainian emotions. And we have a very cordial Discord community. Thank you for buying me coffees and becoming my patrons and helping me work more, film more and write more. Yes, I'm doing that finally. And also we have a beautiful merch shop where you can find some good t-shirts, sweatshirts, caps, stickers, cups, pillowcases that work well as conversation starters and reminders about Ukraine. And also they are simply beautiful and tell the story of Ukrainian history, cultural heritage, and even Ukrainian drones. But most importantly, we have to remain active. We have to be strong because this dying monster is always dangerous and Russian empire former USSR that still lives in the heads of millions of Russians is dying. But at this moment, they are dangerous. So we are prepared, we are focused, we know the task. And now finally, we have the resources to accomplish this task. Thank you once again. Slava Ukraini!